In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can apply transitions to titles if you're using the bundled program called Titler Pro. Titler Pro is bundled with PowerDirector Ultimate or PowerDirector 365. It's one of the more overlooked options you have inside of PowerDirector if you own those versions, but it does do some titling that you cannot do simply by using the title room in PowerDirector. We're going to give an overview of how to apply transitions to titles inside of Titler Pro. I have on the screen a video that I'm going to use for a promotion for a camp, and I want to use Titler Pro titles. To do that, I click on the T on the left side that gets me into my title room. I'm going to click on the drop down and choose the last option, which is New Blue. They are the makers of Tyler Pro, and I'll take and drag and drop this down to any video track. And now I have my title. I'm going to double click to get into the Tyler Pro editor. Once I'm in the editor, I need to change my text. So I'm just going to call this Hidden Acres, the name of the camp I'm going to promote, and then I need to work on some transitions. How do I apply them? Well, there are several ways you can do that. I prefer to click on the Library tab on the upper left side and go right to Transitions. Now it gives me three different subcategories containing transitions. Instead of using these icons, I prefer to click on the little triangle and that will open that up more of in a file session. We're going to look at the first category called Animations and I'll open that up into that subcategory and each of these folders is the same as the text on the left. I prefer the text myself. Let's take a drop split. I click on there and I discover that in the drop split kind of transitions I have six presets. They're all slightly different. To see how they operate all I need to do is hover the mouse over any one of them and it will show me how that transition will function when it's applied to my title. Here's the second one. It's a drop in. Then we have the third one is a long fade. Fourth one is a pull apart. Fifth is scattered. And the sixth is called stretched. Let's take the drop in and to apply it to a title all you need to do is take it and drag and drop it down and let go and it will apply it to that particular title. So now I have the drop split applied. It also opens up a bar on the left side that gives me lots of very detailed customization I can do of that particular title. And if I want to pick any of the other six, all I need to do is click on the preset and this gives me the same screen I had before. It gives me those six different options and I can switch to any of the other kinds of presets I want to when using this particular subcategory. I'll go back to the drop-in. And so these are the characteristics that are applied when you choose the drop-in. Now I can modify any of these. So I can take the fade in and, and use the slider, but you notice now the drop-in disappears because I, now I'm customizing that particular subcategory of preset to fit what I want. And if I don't like all the changes I've made and want to go back to a preset, all I have to do is click on the preset box. I can go back to my original drop-in and it will go back to every one of the subcategory settings that apply to that particular option in this session. I can also make it so it goes invisible by clicking on the icon of the eye. I can delete it by clicking on the trash can and I can close this window so all I see is the transition and not the modifying options I have below it. But there's another option you have you may not be aware of. If I go back to my library in drop split, let's take a non called scattered, I'm going to take and drag it down toward the end of the title and now I have a different drop split preset at the end of the title. And I click here and there, that's at the end. And you notice it comes back together, then flying apart. And you can also reverse it if you want to. There are other options. We won't get into those. So you can apply a preset 
or a customized transition to the beginning and to the end of every title. In fact, it doesn't have to be in the same category. If I, if I want to make it disappear, I'll click on the trash can. I just took the ending one away. I can go and do a completely different option like fly past and take this and drag and drop this down in and then that would be my ending transition. So it's a very powerful tool. Now the default duration is two seconds. All you need to do is take the mouse and hover over the end of the transition to make it longer or shorter depending on your preferences. The other option you have is you can also take, let's go back to our library, let's take the pop-up, I'll take a bouncing words, I'll take and drag this down and drop it over on the left side and now it's going to drop in and we're going to have both effects working at the same time. So you can actually stack and combine effects at the beginning or at the end. Now in truth some of them will play well with each other and some of them may not. You have to try some experimentation to see what really does work, but it's a very powerful feature of Tidler Pro that you can actually combine transitions at the beginning or at the end of your titles. And when you're done, we're going to take the pop-up and I'll just put that in a trash can to make this simple. And I can play this by hitting the play key and it will cycle through the entire title and it will give me the beginning transition and then the end transition. I can change the duration of the title and all those other kinds of features. But each particular transition will have a different subset of characteristics that you can modify. Uh, so we can't tell you one thing for all of them. They're all very customizable though. So what I like to do is end this. Now when you're done, the trick is you don't uh, go back to PowerDirector or it won't operate because Tyler Pro has taken over your system. So what you need to do is click on the X in the upper right corner. That will close Tyler Pro. Now you're back into PowerDirector. We have taken our video and I think my title is too short here. I got to lengthen it. I had eight seconds which is a default and again we mentioned in the other tutorial you have to match the time between uh, PowerDirector and Tyler Pro for the duration. I'm just going to set it here manually I'll, and let's play it now and we should have the title running as expected. It comes in, drops out, and then it will go away. So that's a quick look at applying transitions to your titles inside of Tidler Pro. In other tutorials we'll show you more about the options you have for making transitions inside of Tidler Pro if you own PowerDirector Ultimate or 365.